Hey guys, happy day after Christmas. It's Sarah Milnar, your Team Beachbody coach and NCCPT personal trainer. Here to have, I'm going to call it truck talk because it seems that's where I do a lot of my recording. I am not driving, just so you know. You know how people have pillow talk, coffee talk, we're going to do truck talk. So with it being the day after the holiday and I am all about enjoying yourself on Christmas Eve and Christmas Day. It's really two days out of the year. Those two days aren't going to do the damage that you think is going to happen. The problem with enjoying yourself is most people then forget that it's just a holiday and they just keep indulging every single day because it's there. So some questions that I was asked, no, I did not work out Christmas Day. And there's a couple reasons. Personally, for me, I want the memory of waking up to my kids coming into my room saying, can we go downstairs? That's that's my thing. Like, I could easily have worked out and I, you know, it's awesome if you chose to work out and you had that, you know, discipline and motivation to get up. But I just really wanted to wake up to that. It's something that I'm very... Um, nostalgic for. I know that I will miss it when I don't. So I always try to think, how would I feel five years from now? Well, I wish I had worked out or wish I would have stayed in bed and had it that way. So that's my big thing for not working out Christmas Day. Of course, however, a mama four, you get what I mean, you're moving. So um, second, yes, my accountability groups are starting in January. So claim your spot now. It's crazy busy as a coach in January and lots of people are ready to kick their goals into gear. So if you are interested, you can message me, comment on the video and I will reach out to you. So let's talk about the day after Christmas. So a lot of times we're tired. I mean, we've been running around, cocktails, the carb loading, everything. There's a couple simple things you can do to get your body going. I always suggest not having a carb loaded breakfast because your body already is jacked up with so many carbs. You want to really keep to a lean protein, vegetable, fruit. If you drink the Shakeology, that's perfect. Um, because when you have all those carbohydrates in your body and you feel that sluggish and then people think, oh, I'll have a bowl of oatmeal. What that's going to do is that you're tapping into even more carbohydrates. So really starting the day off after Christmas is really about keeping it very lean, very clean, and really the rest of the two days, at, you know, moving forward, trying to detox yourself from so many cocktails, carbohydrates, sugar. It's going to make you feel better. You probably will get like a hangover, not hangover from drinking, but that sugar hangover where you might get a headache, you might feel lethargic, you think, oh, I need some carbs, I need some carbs, I gotta pick up my energy. It's not gonna happen. It's something that you have to have the discipline for to say, okay, I'm gonna listen to Sarah, and she said, you know, 80, 60 carbs the next two days. Now, am I saying don't eat vegetables and fruits and everything? No, but remember that fruits are carbohydrates, so you wanna limit yourself to about two a day. And the rest should really be about that lean protein um, especially for breakfast and keeping your blood sugar in check. So those are my thoughts from the truck, some truck talk. I hope you guys had a great holiday and please like and share my page and spread the word of health and wellness. And I hope you guys have a happy, healthy day.